The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Oh, um, we've been in discussions with Arsenal and Aaron over the last couple of weeks, um, and he's he's got a small procedure. Um, it's the ideal time during that international break to get that done. Um, he'll be in the squad tonight for um, for the game against AC Milan. But no, it's. It's a good time to get this done, um, and um, yeah, it's a blow obviously because he's a quality player. But it's the best thing to do, I think. You know, going to, for the future, and obviously for Aaron. But the good news, Gareth Bale will be on board. How pleased are you about that? Because there's always some talk in there for <clears throat> not non competitive because this is a tournament. But you know what I mean? No championship games. No, you want your best players, obviously, and Gareth. Um, is a is a tremendous player. He's he's someone who um, you know lights up the the pitch whenever he's on it. So yeah, you, you want all your best places uh, best players to travel. Um, he's got a game just like um, most of the players at the weekend. So we're constantly monitoring all the players injury wise. Um, who's carrying knocks and. Um, yeah, hopefully get through the weekend and the, the, the players who we've picked will be on that plane on, on Monday and Tuesday, this on Sunday your, and Monday. Yeah, this is your first weekend where you're having to sweat as an international <laughs> Yeah, not only weekend, during last weekend, this week, uh, there's been a few players who've picked up knocks this week, so no, it's just about constantly monitoring the players and um, like I say, just um, fingers crossed that everyone's on the plane. So what about the the young captains you've called up? No Danny Ward for a start. What's happening there, Michael Crow? Yeah, Danny Ward. There's been um, administrative um, problems with with his passport and the visa. Um, it's been a bit tricky um, getting all the players together. Obviously, like I've just said, with with the knocks and injuries, so that's why we named a big squad at the beginning. But no, there's no problem with Danny. It's um, it's not his fault. It's, it's, at, it's out of his hands, and just a few problems with the passport. And uh, Chris Metham from Brentford. What, what did you see? Not yeah, exciting. Um, Really, just getting feedback off off Pagey, the under 21s coach, and um, he's been delighted with his um, progress. He's played a lot in the last couple of months for Brentford, and yeah, he's someone who we want to look at and um, hopefully progress um, in this tournament and throughout the rest of the season. And no, David Brooks is he in the under 21? Yeah, um, David has has had glandular fever, so he's just finding his feet back. Scored um, in his last game for, for Sheffield United, so delighted with that. He'll travel with the 21s. We just felt that with the long trip to China, it just wasn't right for him. Um, you know, glandular fever. Um, you know, it takes a bit of time to get over. And like I say, he's just finding his feet. Scored at the weekend, so he's in good form. And no, um, he'll travel with the 21s um, with Pagey. Feeling old about Billy Bowden, have you played with his dad? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, again, he's done well this season, and it gives a, a chance for a lot of these players um, to show what they can do. They're playing regularly for their clubs and doing well for their clubs. Now it's that step up onto the international stage. It gives me a chance and, and the staff a chance to to get a look, get to look at these players close at hand. Ask a couple. Um, Dave Edwards uh, and Paul Dummett not in the squad. What's happening with those two? Um, yeah, Dave Edwards has retired. Um, so I'd like to thank him for everything he's done for Wales. Um, tremendous servant to the country. And um, yeah, uh, Paul Dummett had a conversation with him because uh, he hasn't been in the last few squads. Um, and he just felt that it wasn't. Um, the right time to come back. Wanted to co concentrate on his Newcastle career, which I have to respect, and yeah, we move on. Do you see that as a long term thing with Dummett? Is he making himself unavailable for the long term? No, he said just uh, at the moment this season he wants to concentrate on um, Newcastle's relegation fight. So, again, have to respect that at the moment. In the future, we'll just have to wait and see. The last one for me the, your staff, is that now confirmed? And what role do you see Austin Roberts playing? Can you confirm the staff and then what role Austin Roberts 
Yeah, delighted with the staff. I mean, um, everyone who I've brought in um, were my first choice. Um, Osh obviously has been in and around the squad for a long time, so he's been tremendous help regarding the young players who we're bringing in, his knowledge um, going forward, the contribution that he's going to give. Tony Roberts is staying as well, obviously I played with him, um, know him well. And the new additions, obviously with myself, um, Albert Steifenberg, who I worked with at, at United, hope I've pronounced his name right, he always tells me off for not pronouncing it right, but, um, and Tony Strudwick, who, who will be working as Head of Performance um, for the FAW going forward, so delighted with my staff, um, you know, um, a real mix there of obviously people who I know really well and people who, who have contributed in the, the last few years to, to Welsh football and, and the success that we've had. Right, okay. can I just ask what, what procedure um, Aaron is going to have after the AC Milan game? It's just a small medical procedure that um, we feel that in this window he can get done and hopefully he gets through tonight and he can contribute to Arsenal going forward. Is it for an existing injury? Sorry, that was a bit clearer. Is it for an existing injury that he's been... It's, it's a private matter, but yeah. Moving on... Um, how, how difficult has it been to, 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 to pick a squad for a game like this when you're in a crucial part of the, the season for, for so many clubs, for the top of the table, yeah. European, and also relegation as well? How challenging was it for you to, to get a squad of players to get this player? Uh, it's not difficult in that respect, it's just difficult in um, players are picking up knocks. Um, yeah, it's an important stage of the season where teams and players are going for promotion, fighting against relegation and um, I want them to come away, I want them to come away but also there's this constant dialogue with, with players if they've got knocks, if it's better to, to stay at home like Aaron um, like Brooks um, we, we treat every individual player um, on the situation so no, it's not been difficult, obviously you want your best players but I'm looking I'm looking short term, I want to win the China Cup but also I'm looking long term towards that Nations League first game against the Republic. So you be well aware of the dialogue with, with, with Real Madrid is, is going to be more challenging than, than most. Are there any conditions on... Well I don't speak Spanish to you, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Um, but no, I mean I've said, you know, I've said about Gareth, you want him there, he's our best player, he's a brilliant player, um, he's got a game at the weekend, comes through that then... Um, um, he'll be on the plane. And available for all, all potential games in China. Yeah, yeah. In terms of, of you know, your new era, you said you're, you're, in an earlier answer, you're getting a mix of, 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 of the previous um, the previous roles with, with Wales around the European Championships and bringing your own fresh blood in yeah. as well. In terms of captaincy, are you looking, where are you looking possibly the captaincy? Do you stay with Ashley or are you just going short term? Yeah, Ashley's still the captain. I don't see any reason to change. Um, a couple of weeks ago, um, I had a meeting with all the staff up in Manchester to get to know each other, for me to get to know them and Ash come along with that, so he was a big part of that. No, he's, he's been a, a brilliant servant um, both as a player and as a captain, so there's no reason to change. Um, obviously he's getting towards the end of his career, so it's something that I'm going to have to look at in the near future, but at the moment, no, he's, a, he's been a brilliant captain both on and off the pitch and um, he'll continue to do that. The first time together, you know, announcing a squad. How much of a for, for you? I imagine probably a lot of club managers are probably quite wary of players going away to China in, in, in the middle yeah. of the season. But for you, what are the merits of actually getting the players out of the UK for an extended period of time and being with them together? Uh, well, it's a great adventure. You know, not many of the players would have been to China. I've been to China on lots of occasions and. The fans are fanatical, so it'll be a great trip in regards to seeing a different part of the world. Um, the timing, obviously, like I just said, obviously it's, it's a difficult time for certain clubs, for certain players, but no, it's a challenge. It gives me a chance and the, the staff to get to see players that we've not seen before close at hand. And it's a tournament. It's a tournament which is going to be competitive. First game against China, second game we don't know against either Uruguay or Czech Republic. So there's quality teams in there. So you want to see the players train well and then also you want to see what they're like under pressure in, in a big game. And just again, on, on, on the actual competitive nature which you alluded to there, the mere fact that the sort of the pointless friendly is, you know, your feet are angry for looking to get rid of that. 
just how much better is this for you as a, as a manager with your coaching team as well to have players where there's a little bit more on it, there's something to go for? Yeah, I've said it, at the Nations League um, draw, it's exciting because it's a new competition. Um, there still are friendlies, but less of them now. So, yeah, it gives that competitive edge. There's always something on the game, whether it'll be rankings or whether you can be promoted. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's changing where there's no longer that many friendlies. Most of the games are going to be competitive. Well, this will be just a slight repetition on, on a question from Rob, just about the backroom stuff. Yeah. Just how important was it to keep Osh and the team? Yes, I know you know him well and, and know about all he did, but to keep that link from the success of the European Championships and, be, and, and prior to that as well, to keep someone like him in, in, in the heart of the world. Yeah, but it's not just what he knows, it's what he can contribute as well, and he can contribute a lot both on and off the pitch. He's showed me that already. So I'm delighted that um, he wanted to stay on together with fresh ideas. So we've got a good mix where the players know Osh, the players know Tony Roberts, but the players don't yet know myself, Tony or Albert. So we're bringing fresh ideas and they're looking at a new voice. So that's exciting for the players and exciting for us as well. Uh, yeah. I'm excited to be surprised with the, the pool of talent. You saw how many players were there, when many players are coming from Rob Page's squad as well. Yeah, and speaking to Pagey this morning, there's still more to come through, you know, around 17, 18. A lot of good players coming through, and that's what you want. You know, getting the dialogue of the last um, couple of games, the likes of Brooks coming in, Woodburn, Ampadu, it's exciting. And, you know, I take you back to when I was a player, um, and all them years I'd be playing left wing against Gary Neville in training, then all of a sudden Rafa De Silva comes, this new player who's um, talented, his enthusiasm, and not only older players can help you, younger players can help you too, no matter how old you are, because they give you a lift, they give you that no fear, and it can be an inspiration for older players, young players coming through, and taking training up to that next level. And you want training to be just as competitive as, as the games. And I always had that as a player. And that's what I want within this, this group of players. I want them to push each other. I don't want anyone to set, think that you know, their place is um, secure. I want them to be pushed in every training session. Look at the few players recently for Scott. You're from Chris Gunter to David Brooks. And they all say something. Chris Gunter said about that he's had a chat with you and stuff. You've, you've felt their excitement, are you, are you feeling the buzz as well around the squad? Yeah, I mean, I'm lucky in that I'm, you know, I'm taking over, um, well, I'm now in charge of a group of players who, from the outside, but now I can see in the inside, have got that real club feel. You know, they're not only teammates, they're friends. Um, so I'm lucky in that respect because that's hard to, to get in an um, international setup. So it's been part of their success, not only their talent, but their togetherness and their team spirit. So I've been delighted, obviously, what I've seen from the outside, but now I'm, um, I can see it firsthand just how close uh, these players are. I just find you a big question. So is not tonight on the touchline in a suit, in a track suit. So is it suit or track suit? Not decided no, yet. Not, not decided yet. Wait, what do you think? A suit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a vote. <laughs> um, any more questions in your way, Christina? Ryan Lawrence. Yeah, Ryan, I can see a marked difference between your first press conference and this press conference. Are you excited? You seem like you can't wait to get out there and get on the grass and get the players. Yeah, because that's what um, it's all about, you know, is being a coach, um, getting out on the grass, looking at the players, that feeling that coming off a training session. I experienced that at United for two years, you know, taking training sessions and it's the next best thing to play and you'll never ever replace playing. But coming off a training session that you've just coached and it's gone well, it's the next best feeling. So that's why I took the job. Um, it's been frustrating and that's something obviously that comes with being an international manager that, you know, you don't play for long periods of time. But that gives you a chance to go out and, and get and meet the players and watch them play and watch them train. But yeah, this is what this is why I took the job for these 10, 12 days to get to know the players, training sessions, games. So I'm excited because it's, it's getting nearer and nearer. Uh, just on Ben Woodburn, he's had a bit of a frustrating season at Liverpool. Was there any thoughts of dropping him back into the 21, seeing as he's not played first team football? Well, no, I think being part of the last couple of um, squads and such an exciting talent, I want to see him. I want to see him um, 
what he can do. Um, you know, I've seen it from afar in the games that he's he's figured in, and he's a, he's a tremendous talent and an exciting talent. You know, someone who I would want to go and watch. So no, I mean, I, I think you know he he deserves to be in the full squad, and I can't wait to see him. Okay, any more questions? Um, Ryan will now do twenty minutes with the written press. Uh, 